Welcome to the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. The podcast where we make five-minute decisions that can change your business, your relationships, and your life. Hey, this is Dean Soto, founder of ProSulum.com, P-R-O-S-U-L-U-M.com, and this is another Freedom in 5 Minutes episode. Today's topic is this. You are your hardest critic. That and more coming up. What is up, everyone? I am at my kid's martial arts class. He's having fun inside. I am kind of wandering about outside. And I thought I'd do a podcast episode here. So all that being said, (laughs) had an interesting thing happen so uh, I, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this. I think I have in last podcast is that June, in the middle of June, I have a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tournament that I am a part of, that I have entered, I have registered, I am committed to be a part of. So <laughs> that being said, there are a number of things that happen with that. One is constant practice and everything like that that is associated with, you know, practicing in jujitsu and so on. However, one other thing is that I have to cut weight. Ooh, so, so right now I am 5'11 and a half, 200 and at last I weighed with my clothes on and everything like that, 211, 212 pounds. The nice thing is that when I've told people that they they've said, "Whoa, really? You're that? You're you're that? You weigh that much? So oh, it must be muscle or something like that." So that's kind of a cool thing. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that's actually the case. But either way, I, my bracket is 180 to 200 pounds. So that means I have a little bit more than 12 pounds that I need to lose. That and that being said, that means. You know what that means? That means that it there is some diet involved. So I was on with my warrior brothers and one of my one of my warrior brothers, a guy named Matt, who is absolutely awesome. He's actually a Pan American, Pan Am uh, Olympic weightlifter. And he he gave me a slew of ideas when it comes to nutrition and how to get into ketosis and all this other stuff. And so I'm actually following his regimen, which is which is no eating before 12, 8, or 12 p.m. and no eating after 12, 8 p.m. And then from there, the only things I eat, I eat a lot of fat and I eat a lot of protein and vegetables and things like that. No, no oats, no grains, no, um, what's it called? No uh, carbs, things like that. And so... Uh, Also taking different types of oils and and fats and things like that to to get into ketosis and start having my body start cutting the the fat off. And with that, as with anything that you are starting to do as a habit that it's hard, what do you think is happening? It's day two of cutting weight and I am grumpy. I am not liking it. It is not what I'm used to. I do not like to eat what I'm eating right now. I can eat a lot of it, but I, I want, I, I was literally sitting in the kitchen, looking in the kitchen, staring at a piece of, of what is that called? Um, uh, brigada, brigada. No, it's like the, uh, it's that, it's that type of bread that it's like all crispy on the outside. It's Italian. Sometimes uh, they'll use it for like paninis and things like that. Uh, 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 not a baguette. Anyway, oh my gosh, just staring at it, sitting there. I think it was even stale. It was on the counter, all buttered up and everything like that 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 had been there for a while. It's probably stale, but looking at it, just drooling, going, oh, whoa. If I could just have a little bit of that, I'd I'd be happy for the rest of my life. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Of course, that's a lie, but... My body is in shock. Body is in shock. And my, my reaction to that, my, my feelings toward it was 
actually, I, 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 I have started feeling really bad about myself. I started saying, you know, you're, 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 you're always eating a lot. You're, you're always lazy. Cause I was feeling extremely tired and you're always lazy. You're always uh, making excuses to not do stuff. You're always doing the, like it was just a ton of, ton of, um, bad feelings and bad language associated toward, toward me, right? Toward myself. And I was just beating the crap out of myself. Well, I did this thing called, uh, in wake up warrior, it's called the stack. And it asked a lot of questions. And, and as I was a- answering these questions, I started realizing like that, that yeah, I feel like this. Yeah. It doesn't feel good. Yeah, I feel like I literally feel like crap and I'm tired and I'm grumpy and I'm and I'm just oh, it just feels nasty. But most people would not put themselves through this in order to grow, just like putting myself through Warrior Week or becoming an entrepreneur and going through all the pain that 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 has associated with it. Just there was a ton of stuff that I do that other people would not do, right? Maybe you do, and that, that's awesome. That, that's a, that is a testament to who you are. But a lot of people will not put themselves through pain in order to come out better at the end, right? So this feeling of nastiness, this feeling of feeling lazy and going through this change where your body's starting to burn fat rather than burning sugars and carbohydrates and things like that, where it's just burning fat. All of this is a sign that I am great. And you might think I'm arrogant in saying that, but that's on you. <laughs> the, it's a sign of greatness. People who are great will put them through, put themselves through stuff like this in order to grow, in order to become better, in order to rise up to new heights, right? And so, that being said, why is this important? Is this meant to? Is this meant to be like, hey, you know, Dean is absolutely uh, uh, Dean's just doing this podcast just to talk about how great he is and how amazing he is and all of that other stuff? No. It's, it's important because there are times when you are beating yourself up because you're not getting a result that you want, yet you're putting yourself in a situation, you're putting yourself in a situation that a lot of other people would not put themselves in, right? You're putting yourself in a situation that is helping you to grow and become better. Maybe it's going for a new diploma or a degree or something like that, or maybe it's becoming an entrepreneur, or maybe it's uh, starting to delegate. Maybe you're a business owner and you always try to do things on your own and now you're trying to delegate, or maybe you're trying to systemize stuff and it's painful and you don't like it and it's out of the ordinary and it feels bad. You know, all of those different things, all of those different things are signs that you are great. They're signs that you are better than the average person who just wants to sit around, watch TV, do nothing, right? Who wants to sit around and hope that their life gets better and they just sit there doing nothing. Well, think of that pain that you're feeling or that discomfort as the payment, the investment for you to continue on to your greatness. Okay. So all that being said, you are your worst critic. A lot of the times you start beating yourself up, but guess what? Every single time you feel bad about something new that you've tried or, or a new habit that you're trying to, to start every time you're feeling bad and you're going through that pain, that is the investment that you need in order to, to become great. And that means that you are great. You're, you are doing some great things, okay? All right, so that being said, what right now, because you took the risk, 
because you made the investment to try and become better. What right now is causing you discomfort and pain? And what is the story behind that discomfort and pain? I want you to just examine that story. The action that you are, I want you to take this week is just examine that story. Examine that story and see, is it really because you're lazy? Is it really because you uh, always, always uh, do certain things that you don't like? Or is it because that you're actually trying something new? You're trying something different and, it, and you're not used to it. You're not ready. You're, you just feel like, feel like you're pushing yourself in a way that you've never pushed before. Because if that's the case, you're doing some great things and you need to keep on pushing through. I know it's hard, but keep pushing through. All right, so this is Dean Soto, Freedom in 5 Minutes. If you have not subscribed on iTunes, go and subscribe. If you have not left a review and you love this show, go leave a review. If you don't love this show, uh, don't subscribe (laughs) and don't leave a review. No, I'm just kidding. You can if you want. Uh, It's always good to be honest anyway. And uh, and we're on the Google Play Store. I'm on the Google Play Store, this podcast. Uh, Spotify and other places and and yeah if you uh, if you want to go and do that that'd be fantastic so this is Dean Soto with Freedom in 5 Minutes and I will catch you on the next Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast <laughs>